Is it just us? Every time we come to a car park, someone comes in and dumps up something, or they do something completely illegal. There was a guy, Mazda, who was doing a naughty, a naughty dance at the front of the car. He's 10 metres away. We're Gin and Ring, and we're currently exploring Western Australia in our custom-built 1980 Toyota Coaster. Not this hiding. What are you doing, you dingoes? They're not dingoes. Beds? Having conquered Bluff Knoll and leaving the Stirling Ranges, we heard word of this strange and poisonous frog that exists only in this exact area. So once again we detour to a location we thought might have a chance of finding the fatal amphibian. With the rain forecast for the following night, we had a chance to relax and spend a bit of quality time with the family and come up with a plan. Oh, you've got those funny eyes. Always first. Stop it, I'm gonna attack you. That's not so bad, mate. Oh, he's, he's up. Just as we started to discuss our plan to find the frog, a tiny bird flew head first into the bus, near on clear knocking himself out. You alright little mate? We watched over him for a while to keep him safe and give him time to collect his thoughts, and in the blink of an eye, he was gone. With Dr Google's help, we found an image of the frog to make it a bit easier to identify it. It was time to find us some locals. Is that even the right way around? Yeah, mate. Do you know where mine is? You want to think we're at the snow. Oh, head torches. Head torches. Let's do this. Right, walk time. Where do we go? Uh, ooh, oh, maybe over here. Point your light over it's here. It's cold. The double dragon. Tonight, we're after the Western Banjo Frog. That's it there. Yeah, look at all this water on the ground. There's definitely going to be a frog out here. For oh, sure. It's flooded. There's one. You can see You can see his two beady eyes staring back at us and his white belly. If he's on my screen or not, but you want to walk over there? Just in the white, in the green grass there. So walk over. With the weather on our side, we found heaps of frogs. Thankfully, we took the time to look for them. A western banjo frog, otherwise known as a poly bibble wobble. He's well camouflaged. Barely seen. Spotted another one. We're about. Just here. I've got to follow you because I can't I see. Under the tree, I was staring at the light. Now I can't see properly. Oh, there okay. Is. Yeah. Move he's your a, head torch away. He's a ripper. There we go. What do they call them? A pobble. Uh, pobble bonk, maybe. Oops, pobble, right. pobble box. I think yeah. Pobble box. Thanks. It's perfect conditions for frogs, I'll tell you that. It is bucketing down. I know, we're actually walking in like 
Everything's so tight. It's so good. It's like, if you're going to look for a frog, you have to come out in the rain and do it. We're just going to take refuge under the bridge for a couple of minutes and let this rain pull back. Look, there's the old bridge. It used to service a river. Well. Or what's left of it. What's left of it. And then we're standing under this new one. That's better. Oh, spiders. I hate spiders. And cliffs. And caves. And caves, because caves have spiders in them. Who's a big one? It's the size of a 50 cent coin. Beautiful, though. Spot a frog? Did you see one? No. Nah. Did you find one? Yeah. That's what we're ready for. Oh, you just say so. Found another bubble bomb. Check this out. Beautiful, mate, isn't it? It's so cool to come out in a place like it, Western Australia, a state we've never been in before, and find animals that you've never seen and never knew existed. Hot chucky? Yeah, that sounds good. Another successful frog hunt. So this is what we do. If you enjoyed, hit the subscribe button. Until next time, thanks for watching.